Welcome to Rakdos Sneak Attack. This deck is a little bit of a funky deck, uh, but what I want to kind of do is realize that one of the most powerful cards right now in Timeless, I think people aren't thinking about it, that card is Dark Ritual. Dark Ritual right now is illegal at four, which means on turn one, you get to drop a Necropotence if you'd like, or on turn two, you can drop a Sneak Attack or the One Ring, both of which are incredibly powerful cards. So what we're doing to take advantage of this is because Sneak Attack's legal, it's one of my favorite cards of all time, we're playing this package. Three Attracts a Grand Unifier, three Gristle Brand, three Troll, which both fixes your mana and is also a six mana, basically unblockable creature. The nice part about this is you can Dark Ritual into this card and also just fix to get more lands. Gristle Brand and Attraxa though are really how you win the game. Attraxa is the better target here. You drop Attraxa for free. Basically, you're probably drawing into another Gristle Brand or Attraxa. And I mean, it's it's so powerful. You, this game gives you a 7 point life buffer, lets you find your other targets and then kill your opponent. It's very good. Don't forget Sneak Attack. Once it's on the battlefield, it's an activated ability. There's not much people can do to get rid of this. And enchantments, of course, are hard to get rid of. To supplement this though, we're playing card draws. Necropotence in the one ring to hopefully find the piece of the combo because this is an A plus B combo. We gotta find sneak attack. We gotta find our creatures. There are a couple other ways you can do it, but it's a little more difficult. We are running Ragavan. Ragavan's amazing. It's just hard to argue with this card. And if anything, it gets us treasures. And treasures occasionally let us hard cast some of these cards if we really need to. Will it happen often? I really hope not, but it is technically possible. Demonic Tutor is at one and timeless. Because Demonic Tutor is at one, we actually have a tool to find either A or B of our combo, which is very nice. We're running Lightning Bolt, great removal spell, I don't know reason not to run it. Four Inquisition, three Thought Seeds. This format's a lot of small threats, a lot of small creatures, which means we get to run Inquisition to pull basically anything out of our opponent's hand. Same idea for Thought Seeds though, we need hand attack. Because this is a combo deck, we have to be able to stop our opponent from disrupting our combo. That's the point. And then Blood Moon. Blood Moon is just because I feel like a lot of people are going to be greedy. And the fact that our deck has a bunch of basic swamps and fetches to get those swamps, we don't really care about it as much. It actually works quite nicely. I mean, in fact, even Synergy with the One Ring, we're running Mount Doom because say we get to a lot of mana and we're just like, ah, oh, crap, we're behind, but we stalled at the board. We have a Light Crystal Brand that can't get around it. I can just wipe the board with Mount Doom. Cast it into the fire! Destroy it! Will that happen? No. 99 times out of 100 will not happen, but it does technically exist. This deck is super cool. It's super fun. I love Sneak Attack, and this is just a fun deck to play, so come join me in some Rakdos Sneak and Attack. This hand is close. We have, so we have Hand Attack, we have Bolt, we have Dark Rit, we have Gristle Brand. We really just need to find either Card Draw or, I think I need to mulligan this hand. This hand we will keep because we can turn one. Yeah, this hand's great. Uh, we're gonna toss back one of the dark rits. Yes. Unfortunate. Ah, I should have kept one of the dark rits. That's fine. It's not the end of the world. I can turn three necro still, which is fine. If they just take necro, that's more unfortunate for us. Yeah, they took necro. That's fine. Not ideal for us for sure. I think I'd probably just do just play Ragavan here. They probably have a response, but I think I gotta do that. Yep, Delver, what a surprise. Who could have predicted? Neither Faithless looting, good, good, good. And they probably have a fa Fatal Push here. That would be my guess. Two lanes, I. Yep, saw that coming. I do think we just attack their hand here. I'm not worried about Bolt at all in these games, so I'm going to take away their card draw. Here they can cast Faithless Looting again. If they put Lurse into hand, yeah, I'm just going to take it, so this is fine. I think I'm probably going to wait for them to put Lurse into hand before I cast Thought Seize. I just don't need to right now. Yes, they land that. Alright, this may look crazy to you, but I think because of the fact that they are all tapped out, I'm going to get this in play, because I don't think they have a good way to handle this. That being said, we really have to find a threat now, but if we find any of our threats, we're A-OK. -okay. I mean, that's a pretty good one. Do I think they have Counterspell? Oh, I can't guess it anyway, because I need three black. That's fine. That's fine. 
let's just get a blood crypt. Tapped. Say go. I'm not super worried. Yeah, I mean, they don't really. Have, I'm not really worried about anything they could have here. We are gonna need one more swamp. I probably could have thought she's there. We'll see. Yeah, so because here's the swamp. All right, I'm not really worried about having another turn, so I'm just gonna do this now. If I kind of thought she's, that's fine. Yeah, that's that's fine. So that's one counter spell down. They could have another one, of course. But that's why we run the hand attack is theoretically just to try to make them use uh, their counter spells or lose whatever's in their hands. So if they just have a threat and they get necro down, we're okay. All right. This isn't super ideal for us. If they draw put a counter spell in hand, it's bad. We're under no pressure though right now. So there is that. I could always wait to get Spell pierces are exiling. Okay. Hey, that's pretty good. Well, I just do that. Most of these decks don't run bounce spells. They run counter spells or burn, but you can't burn out gristle brands. But Gristle Brand can, in fact, hit you. And I will happily draw seven cards here. That's funny. Okay. Do I draw seven more? I could. Not actually a terrible option. Let's play this. Play Ragavan. Yeah, I have enough life. I have enough life. We're gonna find. We need to find a tracks or crystal brand now. Still haven't found it. That's kind of amazing. Okay. That being said, oh, well, that's funny. All right, I would like them to counter this, actually. I kind of hope they counter this. Oh, they're not, okay. Sure. Go to my end step, this goes away. Uh, sure. Do they just have the Oracle here? So let's see they're going for. Are they just going to their entire library if they have it in hand? That's annoying. If that's the case, that's the case. I was really hoping I'd find something else. Drew 14 cards there, didn't find any other threats, yeah. They're just putting another Tainted Pact in the hands. One, I mean, let's draw some cards. Four, let's say four, sure. One, two, three. Four, five. Yep, these go away. I'm gonna draw more cards and discard more stuff. That's fine. I was gonna, I'm gonna get these of your next end step. I was already in end step, so I'm an idiot. That's fine. That's 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 on me. Do they just have? They don't have Thoracle. They could just have Thoracle. They could just change back Thoracle here. No, interesting. I'm like curious what they have. So they try to use interaction here. This is actually kind of funny because here I can literally just put troll on the battlefield to sacrifice. So I know they have Tainted Pact, which they can't cast. Do they have a- I took the Thassa's Oracle! <laughs> also, get bent! You have a counter spell. If you don't, you just lose basically here. Doesn't look like you have it. 
Cool, yep. That's what we're looking for. I mean, sometimes Blood Moon just wins the game, and, you know, we didn't even get the combo with Sneak Attack, but Sneak Attack and Aggressive Brand still draws you a hell of a lot of cards, so... Cool. If I see one more Lurus deck, I'm going to fucking lose my mind. Well, excuse me, princess. No, I don't think you keep this hand. A little slow. This one's... Kind of banking on Blood Moon being useful. Like, fine. You don't really get to do anything. No, I don't think you can keep that hand. Alright, we're gonna throw back the bolts. We're gonna kind of pray that we can get there. We can theoretically tutor for either part of the combo. We have sneak attack. We, need, we could tutor for a threat. Or if we draw a threat, we can tutor for a ritual and then build sneak attack and then play it next to the next turn. Okay, so we are actually there. So they're, okay, they're the super aggressive version. The other one's dead in their hand, so that's good. Let's just get Swiss out of their hands. This won't kill us fast enough. I don't really care if they take cards, because they can't really cast anything we have. You guys get a swarm from us, that's fine. That's a good draw, that's fine. Sure. We're gonna Demonic Tutor, and it feels weird, but we're Demonic Tutoring, in fact, for Stark Ritual. Next turn, I'm gonna do Dark Ritual. Into sneak attack, activate sneak attack, putting your tracks into play, drawing five cards, and then from there we can basically theoretically draw another attacks or gristle brand, maybe two, and then just win the game. That's the idea here. This deck is in fact a combo deck that is under the guise of not a combo deck because it's not really infinite. It's just kind of you need A plus B, then game hard to win from your opponent from there. Like here, my opponent's probably gonna hit me for five. But I don't care. I'm about to gain seven. That's a cool card to include in here. I like the Okiba Reckoner Raid, especially with Loris. I think it's a very neat inclusion. But opponent's about to have a bad day. So we are paying two life. Dark Rit. Sneak attack. Activating sneak attack. Putting in Atraxa. Surprise, motherfucker. Trying Atraxa. Uh, lightning bolt. We'll draw sneak attack. Uh, Bloodstain Mire. Thought Seize. Submit five. Hit you for seven, gain seven. This card's out, and then we're good. Because next turn, I still, I got bolts. I can activate the sneak attack as many times as I want. I got thought seeds if I want. I got to put attraction into play, which draws more cards immediately, which lets me theoretically find a gristle brand. Because if I find gristle brand, the game's just over. Because it's actually 14 damage. Sure. I don't think you can do 18 damage in one turn. This is five. I go to 10. You have a bump of the night, so that's pretty good. I mean, like, you're doing a lot of damage here. Blood Moon's actually actively bad for you here because I get to just activate sneak attacks as many times as I want. So cast it if you feel like it. it's not going to help you. Although I do need to find something off the Atraxa. That is a Gristle Brand. If I draw a Gristle Brand or I see... Yeah, we're okay. Well, first, let's activate Sneak Attack. Putting Attracts into play. And there it is. We found Gristle Brands, the One Ring, Lightning Bolt, Mountain, Inquisition. We activate Sneak Attack, putting in Gristle Brands. And now we're just gonna go to combat. That's 14, and opponent is dead. 
That's sneak attack, baby. So that's what the deck wants to do. That is this deck basically running on ultimate format. You see, this is against an aggro deck. Aggro decks should be a praise on us for kind of a combo deck. But like I said, if we can get sneak attack early, especially, Atraxa gains so much life back. It's so hard for the opponent there. Like, the fact that Atraxa, you play it, draws so many cards, so you're probably finding one of your other threats, but also just gives you a seven life total buffer again. It's actually pretty good. The downside is if you don't have kind of that starting hand where you have the pieces you need, it's tough. And as you saw even, like we didn't get this assembled until, you know, a little bit later, but still pretty powerful. So yeah, that's what we want to do. I think this hand's worth keeping. I think we are going to keep it. I think the fact that we have both colors of mana, we got a Thought Seize, we got Sneak Attack and Gristlebrand. This is kind of where we want to be. It's maybe a bit slow. Oh, now we have... So we definitely need to theoretically try to keep... If Ragman stays alive, we're okay. If he doesn't stay alive, we're not in the perfect spot, but I mean, I think this is fine. Okay, that's pretty good. So I think now we attack... They don't have anything, we're good. Okay, so they have Land Bind, which is fine. But this is fine. So now I'm gonna Thought Seize. See what they got. The Land Body, Shark Typhoon, Wilderness Reclamation. It's pretty annoying. I think I just want to get rid of Leyline Binding, though. Because like I said the Reclamation is going to be annoying. And here they can try to they can shark, cycle Shark Typhoon, which is what they're going to do. But that's fine because I can bolt in response. Well, not in response. They're going to cycle it. The creature's going to come, but I can do it before blocks are happen. Yeah, so this is fine. That guy's gone. Arrow's gone for good, which is nice. Now I have the mana to sneak attack, which is good. Sure. That's perfect now. Because now that gives me the mana to Inquisition them. See what they have. Sure. Counterspell's gone, though, which means now I can just resolve Sneak Attack. And now I can put in Atraxa and Gristlebrand and kill them? Yeah, they're dead here. Yep, yep, yep. We did it. Woo! That's what I'm talking about. This is why Sneak Attack is fucking rad. I just think they're neat. Remember Day is interesting here, considering that... Dig Through Time is legal. I don't like the inclusion of Memory Deluge. I get that it's four mana when you cast Wilderness Reclamation, it's automatically held up. But I feel like in a deck like this, you draw enough cards, it's not really an issue. They do get to untap all their lands here, so they could still do something. Yeah, let's activate. Uh, yep, and they're scooping up. Yep. Yeah. And that, my friends, was Rakdos Sneak Attack. So as you saw, this deck is pretty cool. It's really fun to play, and it's really fun to kind of go off with it. Dropping big fatties, draw more cards is always one of the most fun things to do in Magic. That being said, there is... This deck is fairly difficult to pilot. This format has a lot of hand attack running around, and a lot of counter spells. The issue being, sneak attack is you have to find a time to sneak it in, no pun intended, when counter spells are down. Because once it's in play... There's not much that opponents can do to really interact with it, so then you can drop the Atraxas and the Crystal Brands for free, and they can't be countered. That's really the thing. The downside, though, also is hand attack, is that because you're not really dropping sneak attack or, your, of course, your threats on turn one, if you just get hand attacked and they take your dark Rit or your sneak attack, well, now you're out of luck and there's not too much you can do. The third problem, sometimes you draw a ton of cards with a one ring or Necropotence, but you just don't get there. You just don't find both components, and that happens. And if that doesn't, if that happens, you really can't win much. Ragaband is not a win condition on its own. Blood Moon helps. Blood Moon can really slow down the game a lot, so you can kind of get there. But it is still very difficult to pilot. It's super fun, but it is definitely not, I would say, a tier one deck. But if you want to just have a good time, want to play with Sneak Attack, I do think this might be the best Sneak Attack deck right now, or at least the one I've had the most success with. 
So uh, give it, go on, give it a shot, and uh, I hope you enjoyed this Titans deck tech, and hopefully I will see you next week. In the meantime, peace.